JJ the CPA here. What's up with the PPP? Boy, good stuff in my opinion. Uh, I've got a little more hope than I did going into this week and that's because I think the SBA has been doing a great job in trying to create a level playing field. I think that Congress, uh, the law that was amended uh, has contributed immensely to that as well given that there's 30 billion set aside for the credit unions. There's 30 billion set aside for the smaller banks. And then they're doing other things with meaning the SBA, like today, the 29th of April, um, the SBA is only allowing the banks that are less than 1 billion in assets to do any applications from 4 p.m. Eastern to 11.59 Eastern. That's huge. Also, um, I don't know if it started yesterday or today, but they're only allowing banks to process, and I want to say it's like less than 400 an hour to be able to submit applications. Now, there may be some banks that aren't even putting in that many per hour, but it is limiting the bigger banks from, in essence, getting there and kind of, you know, uh, getting the getting the prize because they because they can or they're running more, you know, applications through it. I think it's also creating some equality for the banks in terms of you know, uh, helping that aspect in terms of the fee. It's a 5% fee. I will say this, if you're still in a situation where you're not getting any communication from your bank, I can't stress enough, start looking around for a smaller bank, straddle it, find a smaller bank. Are they doing it? Are they doing it direct? You want to deal with a bank that's literally sending your app to the SBA directly. You should be able to ask them that, meaning they're not jobbing it out. They're not using a service because when they're using a service, now you're going to basically, your, your application is going to a big feedlot with thousands and thousands and thousands of others. But the ones that can land at the smaller bank and the smaller banks are taking on these customers and they're doing it. But those that can land uh, an application in at a smaller bank, they're just whoo, closing and quick and immediate. Um, mine, uh, I did with a great friend of mine is at a smaller bank. And um, I mean, he's putting in applications and, you know, within an hour and a half, um, boom, they're approved. They're getting their money. You know, the customer's getting their money, you know, probably tomorrow or the next day. It's the smaller bank, right? So you got to be proactive because you can't wait until the bank's like, well, clearly they're not going to get it through. So you're pushing with your current bank, but then start finding the smaller bank. Call them. It's going to take a little bit of time to get a hold of them. How do you get their information? How do you get the app? How do you get it to them? Right, so you need to kind of have a backup plan because I do feel like PPP will probably, it's gonna last a little longer. You know, the first one was 349 billion, this one's 310 billion. So it's close. And I know the other one lasted, what, uh, probably somewhere around eight days, maybe, yeah, probably eight days. Um, so it'll probably last into next week, but that's my point. You've got to have your backup plan in play by Friday, today's Wednesday. So on the PPP, I'm feeling better about it. I do think that the SBA, again, is doing the fighting chance, but they're they're trying to also give you that fighting chance. So be smart about it because I don't think there's gonna be a third round. All right, hey, good luck to you, JJ the CPA, out.